Hi, my name is Keith Smith. I'm a freelance PHP programmer, and I've been a freelance PHP programmer since 2006, and I'd like to teach you everything I know. Okay, in this video, what I'd like to cover is how to fix the Apache error AH00558 could not reliably determine the server's fully qualified domain name. Okay, so as you notice on the left-hand side, I have my notes. On the right-hand side, we have uh, PuTTY, which is connected to a virtual host. And uh, so it's, it's SSH. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna back up the configuration file. That's always a good deal. Whenever you're gonna change a configuration file, back it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back up the Apache 2 uh, config file. So we're going to change directories to uh, forward slash etc forward slash apache2 forward slash hit enter. Then uh, we can look and see what's inside the directory with vdir. And you can see the, the apache2 config file is right there. So Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to copy the file to make a backup. Okay, so that's sudo. We become super user. CP means copy. It's a Linux command. And the file is apache2.config. And we're going to copy that to apache2.config-original. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter. It's going to ask me for my password. Enter my password. There we go. Okay, so let's do another VDIR. Now we can see the backup copy is here. Now I do that because, you know, when you're when you're modifying things, sometimes there's mistakes occur, and things get out of whack, and so you can always go back to that known file that was working. So. Every time you modify a configuration file, I'm going to suggest that you make a copy. Okay, so now we're going to edit the Apache configuration file. So here's that command, and I'll explain it. Okay, sudo, we become the super user. Vi, which is my editor of choice, the path forward slash etc forward slash Apache 2. That's a path, and then apache2.config is a file. So I'm going to hit enter, and I'm going to scroll all the way down. And I'm going to insert the server name direct directive. Okay, so I'm going to slide over here to the right. I'm going to hit insert, and then I'm going to hit uh, I for insert, and then I'm going to hit enter. And then I'm going to copy this little guy right here. Okay, so what that says is server name, which is a directive, and default.internal. Now, default internal is a domain name. That's a non-routable domain name. Internal.internal uh, is used on private non-routable networks. So I've done a, a video about that already. Um, and so basically what happens is uh, default is like uh, ABC and then uh, dot internal is like dot com, dot net, dot org. So that makes a complete domain name. Now it's not routable, so I use it on a private network, and I'll explain some of that stuff in just a minute. So we're going to go. Out, we're going to hit escape to get out of insert mode, and we're going to uh, hit the colon, and then uh, W for write and Q for quit, and hit enter. Okay, so that's done. Now we we actually have fixed the problem. So let's test it and see. So we're going to run sudo making me the super user, Apache 2 CTL config test, hit enter. The error is gone. It says the, ins it says the syntax is okay for Apache. Okay, no more errors. We can stop here if we want, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna explain that uh, non-routable 
domain name. Let's configure that. So now we're going to go, uh, we're going to restart Apache. I like to do that because that makes sure everything's configured correctly. We'll have to, but I like to do it. So it's sudo, which makes me the super user, uh, system CTL, uh, restart Apache 2, enter, bam, that's taken care of. So now we're going to verify the changes. So we're going to go to look at the log file to make sure there's no errors in the log file. Let's clear this. Okay, right mouse click. Okay, sudo means I become the super user. Tail is a command to show the last 12 lines of a file. Then we use the uh, hyphen F and then it's, we're going to give it the path forward slash var forward slash log forward slash Apache 2. That's a path. And then error log is the file. Hit enter. Okay. We're going to look for the AH00558 error, and I don't see any in here if there is any. So, okay, so we're good. We hit Control C. That takes us out of uh, tail. And now we're going to configure the server name directive for the default host. Now, when Apache is installed, it creates one virtual host, but it doesn't add all the configuration to it. It just makes the minimum. So that if you type in the server's IP address, it will show a web page. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I, I need to um, change directories, and I'll explain this domain, this uh, command in a second. So it's cd, change directories, forward slash etc, forward slash apache2, forward slash sites hyphen available. And I hit enter, and that's a, that was a directory. So now we're in that directory. So let's do a dir, oh, vdir, sorry. vdir, enter. Okay, you'll notice there's multiple files in there. I have a vhost.internal.config that I used in a prior uh, lesson. So the default, though, that sets up with Apache when you initially install it is 000-default.config. So that's what we want to edit. So how we do that is we're going to issue this command right here, sudo, become the super user, vi is my editor of choice. 000-default.config, which is the default uh, virtual host that sets up with Apache. Okay, so I hit enter. You'll notice there's a lot of stuff here. It's well worth reading. I'm going to scroll right down here, and I'm going to hit the I for insert, and then I'm going to hit um, the enter key, and I'm going to Get the server name directive, default, internal. Okay, so I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go back up to that line. I'm going to add a tab. And now that's there. Okay, so I am going to hit escape, colon, W for write, Q for quit, and hit enter. And then what we're going to do to we, we need to set this up with the local machine so that it knows how to use this when we enter it into the browser, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to actually go to the uh, notepad. Right mouse click on notepad. We're going to select run as administrator. Very important. Run as administrator. Click that. Now you'll get a message or a dialog box that isn't picked up by the uh, software uh, that I'm using uh, for editing. And so this little box is going to say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And you're going to you're going to click the yes button. OK, see now that opens up Notepad and now we're running as administrator. So we're going to click on file. We're going to go down to open, click on that. Now we're going to click on Windows and go over here to the next pane and click on Windows. 
and then we're going to look for system 32. This is the Windows host file. So Windows 32. Uh, I'm sorry, it's system 32. So here we go. Where is it at? Where is it at? System 32, right there. Okay, it's in alphabetical order. Now we want drivers. Okay, it's in alphabetical order as well. Drivers. Double click on that. Double click on ETC. Those are all the directories. And now you don't see anything in this uh, drop down or in this box here, the dialog. And so what you have to do is go to the drop down right here and click on it. And because we don't have any files in this directory that end in .txt, what we have to what we have to tell it is we want to look at all files. Okay, so hit all files with your mouse and then go up to hosts and click on that. Okay, this is a text file. And as you notice, I've already put this default.internal domain in the host file. So it's 192.168.1.81 space default.internal. Internal. Now, default internal is a domain. It's a non routable domain. It's on private. It's on a private network. 192.168.1.81 is a private IP. So you just add those at will. And I've already added it. So we'll just, you need to save it and then close this. And then let's open a uh, browser and let's default. Type this in default dot internal. Okay, let's see. Hit enter. Boom. Hey, it's working. Okay, so what we did is we created a local network that simulates what the internet works like, right? So we have a private IP address. It's non routable, so you can't uh, access it from outside, outside of your network. Um, so then that we made a, uh, a non routable domain name using dot internal, the top level domain. And then we added that to the host file. Now, if I want to do this for Windows, or I'm sorry, we're doing it on Windows. So if I want to do it for Linux or Mac OS, what I do is pretty simple. So my desktop is Linux. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit PuTTY. And I think my desktop IP is 50. Okay, so let's hit enter. Or let's open. Ooh, yes, success here. Okay, my password. Okay, we're going to clear this. Okay, there we go. So we need buy input. We need uh, sudo. Here we go. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna hit insert because we're in buy, and we're gonna type in one nine two dot dot one six eight dot one dot eighty one. And I'm gonna I'm gonna comment out this other one here because this is for another server with the same IP address, and it's really gonna confuse the system if we got two of them running on the same IP address. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back down here, and I can hit a space, or I could do a tab. I'll just do a space like everything else is here. So this is default dot internal. This is for Linux and for Mac OS. Okay, so I hit escape. I'm gonna click colon, uh, right, a W for write and a Q for quit. I'm gonna hit enter. And I'm gonna go over to my desktop. You can't see this. And I'm gonna run it in my browser. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, I can see the page. You can't because it's on another machine. Uh, but it's working, so we've had success. Yay! Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new content. If you found this content useful, by all means, give it a thumbs up. I'd like to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment and subscribe to my newsletter. Below, you will find a link 
And you'll want to subscribe because there's some information I'm going to let out that probably will not make it in, into the videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.